Caitlin and Wayne, thank you guys for joining us today. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. For us. <laughs> All of our friends, our franchisees, have pretty interesting origin stories, as the superhero movies say. But yours is probably the most unique. Uh, could you share a little bit about it? Sure. So um, I've been doing team sports and youth leagues in Australia for quite a few years. Um, Caitlin studied abroad there and we met at the start of her studying abroad and after four months of doing that and then eight or nine months of flying backwards and forwards, I made the move and, and came over here. <laughs> um, I started the same business that I was doing in Australia here. Um, there's a lot of differences that kind of a little slow to get going and figuring everything out here. Um, once we've been doing that for a few years, we realized that we couldn't grow because we were getting back down with everything else we were doing and it was just taking so long. So that's when we started looking around, and, um, obviously TSS and what that could offer us to be able to grow our business significantly um, with all the time-saving work and everything that Candid offers to us. It was, a, in the end, pretty easy decision to, to come on board and, and switch to TSS. No, we, we love hearing that. Uh... We were certainly expecting good things from the start with your experience. And what we saw was a record-breaking first year and an even better second year. If you could sort of narrow it down to three or four things that contributed to all that success right out of the gate, what would they be? I think having Wayne owned a photography business from the beginning, he knew kind of the direction and what needed to happen uh, pre-photo day and even to get new clients and to retain existing clients. So that was the foundation. Uh, and I think it, it definitely helped our, our foundation going forward. And so we were able to um, have a create a schedule. So we know when to target leagues for upcoming seasons. So we didn't miss out. We didn't email them too early where they're not thinking about us or too late where they already have someone else booked. So having that schedule set in advance really helped us. And then following up with emails and phone calls um, and really staying on them so they don't forget about us. They don't forget about photo day till the last minute. That really helped us as well. Uh, and then delivering a very smooth and simple photo day uh, for the league and the, the parents and the kids really helped as well. Uh, so many leagues have been so used to doing paper order forms and waiting months to get their kids photos and not even being able to see the photos before ordering them. Uh, and then the photos would be dropped off at the league and, you know, it's up to the league to hand them out. So TSS really did everything opposite of that. And uh, it was really refreshing for us to be able to provide that to the clients and then the clients to be you know wow that there's a better way to do it <laughs> i remember our first few shoots as well i was even blown away that i literally took the kids photo and then the parent is walking over looking at their photos on their phone and probably like the first month of shoots we did i was i was shocked by <laughs> <laughs> how well it worked and then the fact that it just went straight to them two days later just it was a game changer for us and that word of mouth helped us to get more leagues. I mean, it's pretty much as soon as we get into a town, word of mouth is yeah. a big deal for us and gets us a lot more work. Uh, this, this, this past year, you guys saw tremendous success from your pre-pandemic levels. You more than tripled your business uh, from, uh, from 2019, which was amazing. Uh, part of that was by acquiring a neighboring franchise, uh, but the rest of it was just growing organically. What uh, I got to ask, uh, how were you in position to purchase that other franchise? How'd you stay organized with all of these uh, new events? And uh, how do you keep your hair doing all this? That's that's the other question. <laughs> it's a little okay. <laughs> it's falling out slowly. Um, I think the main thing that allowed us to do it is we saw the potential for the growth in that area. We we saw that it hadn't been marketed to. They were doing things slightly more old fashioned than what we were doing. So we saw the potential that we can come into a new area that hasn't been marketed to in five or six years with what we're doing. And that could kind of all flow over to how well it started out here in New Jersey um, and allowed us to do the same thing there in Pennsylvania. So we went in, we spoke to the existing leagues. We said to them, we're essentially the same company, but this is how we do it. And this is why we do it different. And this is what we're going to do. Um, and we, we found that to, to work there. We already had a few good staff that we could rely on. Um, we had to change 
how we train staff. We had to trust that people could run shoots for us because we were going from just booking one shoot a day to, I mean, four different leagues every Saturday throughout the spring and the fall was the same. So we had a, we had a trust in the training that we did and the staff that we had trained. Um, and that kind of allowed us to. to we had to fine tune that along yeah. the way. <laughs> Certainly. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, a big part of that as well was when Caitlin came full time, spring of 2021. Yeah. Um, basically, before that, I was doing the office work. I was setting up shoots. I was just having photographers show up. So when Caitlin came aboard, we knew we were going to grow, and we knew what we wanted to do. So we had to change so we could grow, basically. So I mean, Caitlin was a big part of getting that set up and making sure that everyone was trained um, to do it on their own. And I mean, she's certainly a lot more organized than I am. So <laughs> that, that helped a lot. She's also a better photographer, I hear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> better at everything. Oh, there you go. That's that's the way to do it. Um, oh, that's, yeah, that's, that's, oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, any individuals that are looking at this as a potential opportunity for themselves, what advice would you give them? Sign the paperwork. <laughs> <laughs> um, basically if you're prepared to put in the work and you understand that people don't call you you have to call people and you have to follow up and, and put in the work to get the results then it's definitely for you and tss and candid offers so much support that you can go in blindly like other franchisees have and you can still come out on top because you guys provide so much support and help and you know technology really yeah and the network i mean it's the network of other owners is is incredible and what how they help us um i mean big questions little questions everyone's there to chip in and help each other out and definitely it definitely goes a long way to to make you feel comfortable in what you're doing but it's, i feel like as long as you're prepared to put in the work then you can yeah make it successful no we're, we're all uh we're all pushing for you guys and, and all of our franchisees so we thank you for those kind words all right, guys. Hey, thank you so much for joining us today and uh, get back to it. I'm sure you have an event to go to in a couple of minutes. <laughs> Snowboarding today. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.